from the sea. It was like a palace in a dream, built of shining marble of all colours and having great doors covered in gold. Obvious do. Mission for Obby Snortle van Rue. But his hatred of other people was as great as his power. He would not allow any person to come near him, except for his own servants, and they were evil spirits. <laughs> If any man dared to go to see the palace to ask for work or beg for charity, he would never be heard of again. His friends might search for him, but they would never find him. Soon people began to whisper that some of the blocks of granite near the palace were men who had gone up the mountain and never come back. They began to believe that the wizard <coughs> had caught them and frozen them into stone. A man and a woman came. A man and a man came. <laughs> Pishy Gazolus, obvious to Mission Fish Gazol, a Stiratel by view. At length, of the wizard became the terror of the whole island, so that no person would pass within several miles of his palace. The people on that side of the island fled from their homes. The place was lonely, cold and desolate. Red bird. 
Do you know of anywhere I could stay tonight, little red bird? Uh, oh yes, I found lots of places. Duh. I tried to sleep. I tried to sleep with the. I tried to sleep in a gorse bush, but I found between two leaves is best. I've even tried to sleep in a wave with two leaves as well. At least the wizards don't ah! find you. Gurmaya thought, oh, we'll keep looking. That doesn't sound very comfortable at all.
traveller came upon a village, but was astonished to see the place so silent and desolate. He'd been looking forward to the usual food and shelter, a friendly welcome, but he found the houses empty ruins and the kindly country people gone. Where was the straw and hay which made such a snake bed in the barn? Weeds and stones lay thick in the fields. Night came upon him, and he walked and he walked, but never a bit of shelter could he find, and he did not know where to get to bed. turning one man into a hundred, having a magic sword and a magic horse. Coo, then, Mark, coo! Yet nobody knows who I am anymore. I've had enough. I'm going to retire. The carpet man sounds very nice. <laughs> I blame this wizard fellow. I've never seen him. He probably doesn't exist. <laughs> Thank you. 
the light got brighter and brighter until he came to a grand palace with every window lit up. The singing was all knocked out of him. <coughs> In the name of fortune, where am I? This dreadful big house, where did it all come from? Nobody has ever seen the likes of it before. Where am I? It was hard to get to the door with the blocks of stone lying around like frozen men. <coughs> I would swear this was little Neddy Harm, the dwarf man that's missing, only a stone. Oh, carrot tell Jimmy Warrior. When he came to the big door, it was locked. Through the window, he saw a table and supper ready on it, but he saw no person. He was very tired and hungry, but he was afraid to knock at the door of such a fine place. <coughs> so he lay down on the fine marble bench outside. Oh, that place is too grand for me. I'll stretch myself here till morning. It's a middle one, sort of night. <laughs>
and they celebrated with a dance celebrating our wonderful isle. Yeah. 